My name's Susan Edwards. I'm the Glamorgan Archivist. I'm head of Glamorgan Archives, uh, which is a local authority record office in Cardiff, but serving six unitary authorities in South Wales with a total population of just under a million. We hold a collection that runs to eight kilometres and ranges from title deeds from the early 1100s to agenda papers for committee meetings that will be held sometime next week. BS 5454 is the British standard of recommendations for the storage and exhibition of archival documents. It relates to the long-term storage, permanent storage of archival documents. The bulk of it is uh, applicable to paper and parchment records. There's a fairly small section that relates to temporary storage of archival documents for exhibition purposes and an even smaller section that refers to uh, modern media. It, the aims of the standard, the principal aim, is to protect records for, for the future. So it looks at all the possible hazards and, and risks from storing records and it lays down guidelines to, to avoid those. The, well, the standard is uh, obtainable from the British Standards Institute. Most archivists would approach staff at the National Archives for advice on interpretation um, and they're, they're always very helpful. For the last uh, five or six years, um, I've been involved in procuring a new building for the Glamorgan Archives. And in, in doing that, this standard has been absolutely invaluable. Beginning with uh, site selection, which is the first section in the recommendations, the, the list of, I think it's six criteria, were taken as the absolute basis for selecting a site. Um, it lists things that you don't necessarily think of. Obviously, flood and um, land liable to subsidence and um, next to something that might blow up or, uh, or throw chemicals out into the air, you'd think might be fairly obvious. But it's extremely helpful in presenting a case to your funders who are saying, why don't you use this site if you've got a list from an external body of the, the status of the British Standard Institute which simply says, no, you can't. You really cannot put a record office. You cannot store documents on this kind of site. That was the first step. Um, the next section describes the, the build construction. And again, it lists the kind of building that you're really looking for, ideally, in, for storing records. Um, it is possible to store records perfectly adequately in a tin shed if you pour in enough air conditioning and environmental control to create the re required conditions. But the BS actually lays out the kind of construction type that you're looking for. And it specifically recommends high thermal inertia as part of the building process. It applies equally to new build, purposely constructed buildings as to conversions or even buildings where you've been keeping archives for many, many years. And all of that has helped in the course of this project. The places where the records are currently being kept by my record service are in the main quite inadequate for record keeping. Now you can prove that and you can show that if you've got actual damage to the documents, but obviously we try our best not to allow that to happen. So it's quite difficult to go to funders, whether that's grant awarding bodies or in my case, my, my local authorities, and say, you really need to put up 
several million pounds to give me a building where I can keep these records in the way that they need to be kept. But with this, I can prove that the places that we're keeping those records are completely inadequate. They're not meeting the standard. Therefore, the records are shown to be at risk. And that was accepted. Um, and that's really how we, we got the funding for the building. In summary, the, the benefits to an archivist of using the standard are really centred around having an external validation of all your professional instincts. Um, good solid shelving, well-constructed building, a carefully chosen site, security against fire, water, pest, pollution, theft and vandalism, packaging of documents, adequate conservation, all of these things we deal with every day. We know the effect on the documents that we care for of these, of these risks and dangers. And to have it laid out in one document, which you can, you can wave at your funders, at your trustees, at your governing body, and say, no, I can't actually let you do that because it goes against the standard. It's, it's just a huge help in my professional life.